What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I'm smack dab in the center in one of the most famous areas in Los Angeles, perhaps the most famous worldwide, Beverly Hills. Let's get into the history. Surrounded by Los Angeles, but never an official part of it, Beverly Hills has long been the epicenter of wealth and glamour in Southern California and the world. First populated by the Tongva native people, the area was regarded as a sacred site thanks to being a superb source of fresh and abundant water. In 1769, Gaspar de Portola arrived in the area that would later become Beverly Hills, traveling along native trails following the present-day route of Wilshire Boulevard. Along with the conquerors, he brought smallpox, which wiped out the majority of the Tongva. In 1828, the governor of the Mexican-controlled California territory deeded 4,500 acres that constitute the core of present-day Beverly Hills to Marita Rita Valdez Villa, the African-Mexican widow of a Spanish soldier. She called her property the Rancho Rodea de las Aguas. She started a cattle and horse ranch and built an adobe home on what is now the intersection of Alpine Drive and Sunset Boulevard. By 1868, the land was owned by Edward Proust, who sought to establish an Anglo-only community for immigrant German farmers to be called Santa Maria. That didn't pan out, so Henry Hamill and Andrew Danker acquired the land and used it to farm lima beans. By 1900, a group of oil speculators led by Burton Green bought the bean field. They failed to strike oil, but they did strike a lot of water, enough to support a town. In 1906, Green was inspired by Beverly Farms, Massachusetts, and he renamed the bean field Beverly Hills. Green built the first house in 1907, but sales were slow. So in 1912, to bolster interest, he completed the construction of the Beverly Hills Hotel on the site where the waters once gathered. Beverly Hills was one of many all-white planned communities in the L.A. area at the time. Restrictive covenants prevented non-whites and Jews from owning or renting property. That said, the area thrived with the growth of the Beverly Hills Hotel, as well as celebrities building mansions like early Hollywood royalty Douglas Fairbanks and Mary Pickford. The 1919 construction of the Los Angeles Speedway brought more notoriety to the area. In the 1920s, water supply was an issue and the city of Los Angeles tried to annex Beverly Hills, but it was shot down by voter opposition led by celebrities such as Rudolph Valentino and de facto mayor Will Rogers. The 1930s saw impactful construction such as the Beverly Hills City Hall. In the 1940s, black and Jewish actors and businessmen were able to move into Beverly Hills as the Supreme Court declared the covenants unenforceable in Shelley v. Kramer. In the 1940s, Rodeo Drive was the focus as the commercial district began to be known as the Golden Triangle. In the 1950s, Doheny Ranch was purchased by Paul Truesdale and he developed the Truesdale Estates. From the 60s through 80s, the city's reputation as a haven for the rich and famous continued to be justified as celebrities kept moving in. In 1989, Rodeo Drive was opened up and it became a tourist magnet. Since its formal centennial in 2014, Beverly Hills continues to take its place as the oasis for people rich and famous worldwide. All right, LA, it's been a minute.